Hello and welcome to Mediumship Matters with me, Hannah McIntyre. Now, I'm pretty sure on the last podcast, I said that I was going to be doing podcasts more regularly and uh, I haven't. And uh, what I thought I'd do today is just start the ball rolling. There's so many topics that I want to cover. There's so many things that I want to talk to you all about. But actually, at this time, I think the best thing I can do is share with you what's been going on with me and where I'm at. So um, please know that I do intend fully to be back doing regular podcasts for you all. And I know that there are so many of you that have messaged me questions uh, and I will get back to you all. It's just been a bit of a time for me and a time of my own doing. So uh, let's talk about that. So um, one of the things that I always think is really interesting about healing and one of the things that I always try and be honest about is that it's not as simple as just doing something once and it's done, it's dealt with, it's gone and we're free and we can move forward. Wouldn't it be lovely if it was? But it isn't. And uh, one of the things that's come up for me that often comes up with me and I do try to be honest on this podcast because I think there's enough people out there talking about the how easy it is to get rid of the negative energy and move forward and not enough people talking about the fact that it stinks and it's really really hard. So um, one of the things that always comes up with me is well two things actually if I'm perfectly honest is uh, people pleasing. I want to be liked by everybody. Uh, Not just most people, but ideally everybody in the entire world should like me, which I am aware is a complete impossibility. Uh, But still, that's what I subconsciously aim for all the time. Alongside uh, money fear and a need to work really, really ridiculously hard all the time, which actually, if we're honest, comes from a place of lack. It comes from, I don't think I'm going to have enough, do enough, be enough, and so I must try harder. So there's been lots going on with me over the last couple of months, which really, I think, at this time, come down to those two root issues that I have. But who knows? Healing is uh, never, never done and never always as clear as you think it's going to be. But uh, I've been working through some stuff to deal with those. So first things first, many of you will know that I had a supporters group on Facebook. And about six months ago, I uh, decided to get rid of that because I'd been pushing really, really hard on it. And it just got too much for me workload wise versus income wise because of various reasons, mainly underselling myself and obviously Facebook take a massive chunk. So some of you will know I moved over to Patreon and set up a whole membership program on there. And I've been sort of going full guns blazing on that. And in my usual style, I just kept adding more and more and more to the membership program and more and more and more to my workload until it got to the point where I had 20 20 different things a month on just for my membership program. So that's all bubbling away there and I'm exhausting myself as I do. Um, I've had two chest infections in two months, which has added to the inability to do podcasts because no one wants to hear you coughing. Uh, Well, my husband keeps shouting at me, change your bus shelter because he's so fed up with me coughing. So you can imagine (laughs) you wouldn't want that coming through your speakers at you. And um, just really, really worn out, really exhausted, but still pushing forward, still telling myself that this is the direction the spirit world want me to go in. And then I had a few catalyst moments, spiritual slaps, whatever you want to call them. Um, Now, this is all my own doing. 
And I want to make that really clear. The spirit world didn't tell me to work myself into the ground. My programming, me, I decided to work myself into the ground. And uh, one of the things was I was working with one of my student, students, shout out if she, Danielle, if you hear this. And um, the spirit world were talking to her about her doing a membership program. And she said, oh, I don't want to do as much as you do, though. I don't want to work that hard. And the spirit world said, no, you don't have to. You can do a really small thing, blah, blah, blah. And then that just got me thinking about, well, do I work hard? Is this hard? Because I hadn't even really engaged in that energy or thought about it. And then uh, it sounds really stupid, but up the road from us, we've got a little micro pub and uh, my husband and I went there for a drink. And then I said to him, oh, I really want to get... um, electric bikes because it's quite hilly around here and I'm not fit enough to cycle up a hill and I really want to get electric bikes I really want to um, be able to visit that place more often and my husband said to me well even if we had bikes when have you got time to go and visit that pub regularly you tell me when when have we got time and we haven't we haven't so that was all going on then I had a real uh, thing with money and behaviours of mediums online. I know you know that I get a bit of a bee in my bonnet about this stuff, but um, I, a new medium came up on my news feed, new to me, and I was really excited, couldn't wait to watch them work and went on to their live and they were eight minutes in and they hadn't even done any work yet. All they had said was share, share in your groups, share, send me stars, share, and then given shout outs to people. And I just found it really depressing, really, really depressing. And what's interesting about that is that I'd been telling myself that my dislike of that is my money issue and actually I think it was a real dislike of that kind of behavior and I can't change it uh yeah we all know that we need people to share on Facebook to to be to be seen we know that we need that but actually your work should also be speaking for itself you should be doing the work so that people can see it and if you're not doing the work don't pretend that you are if you're going to do a live where you're glaring into the camera and just telling people they've got to share they've got to share you're not actually doing any work for the spirit world or for the people that are working for you you are just advertising and not very well at that so i decided to get rid of stars on my facebook page um And it's hard. It's hard to, in this world that we live in, where it's all money and take and advertising and trying to get yourself out there with this ever-changing algorithm, it's really, really hard to stay true. And I have to be honest with you all and tell you, I'm not sure that I'd managed that quite as well as I'd like. I'd love to look back and say I never fell into that trap, but I did. I did fall into that trap. So I got rid of stars so nobody can send me money for a free reading. So those of you that who don't know, stars is like a currency. You buy stars from Facebook and then you send them to people like a virtual tip. But what's happening increasingly is that mediums are saying free readings and then doing readings for people that have sent them stars. So that's not a free reading then, is it? You're only picking people that have sent you stars. So um, all of that's just going on there. So I got rid of that and I did that and I thought that was better. And obviously I'd moved away from Facebook onto Patreon. So I thought that was better. And um, I started thinking about life and what I want from life. And it's all just been very watershed moment. You know, my children are growing up. They hardly want to be around us anymore. We don't see them that much anymore. Uh, 
just feeling like it's all slipping through my fingers really, really quickly. And doing the kind of work that I do, of course, you do realize that life is short. I really thought before I became a medium that the majority of people I would speak to, uh, to do messages for would be elderly people, but they're not. These are people who have gone at middle age, who had whole lives ahead of them to lead, and they all repeat the same thing. I thought I had more time. I wish I'd had more time. So, uh, yeah. So I decided to get rid of my membership program. And that's been an absolutely massive thing for me. Um, partly because of my people pleasing and because people followed me over from Facebook to Patreon and then I was letting them down and changing it again. Um, partly because I'm turning my back on a secure income that I was getting from that membership program every month and I was working hard for it, uh, but it was still an income that I knew I was getting. Um, I felt incredibly sad about it because these are people that I've built relationships with, that I'm I'm fond of, that I love, that I like to spend time with. This is my little community, my gang, and I felt like I was letting them all down. And so much, much complexity in that decision. But as soon as that thought entered my mind from the spirit world, as soon as I managed to give them enough space to be able to communicate with me clearly, as soon as I managed to be able to get myself into a space where I was able to receive that message, I knew it was the right thing for me because I've been working too hard for too long. I've not had time to do the things I enjoy like this podcast or uh, lives on Facebook for free. Um, and it had just become very, very draining and very difficult. And I was the one that made it draining. I just need to make that really, really clear. I was the one that kept adding to it. I was the one that had somebody that joined from another time zone. So set up um, a duplicate of everything for that time zone. Yes, just for one individual. And um, then they left, <laughs> which is ironic, isn't it? But that's how it's supposed to be because I'm learning. So I just wanted to share this all with you all because I think it's really easy to think that there's some sort of level we will get to where we have all the answers and we know what we're supposed to do and when we're supposed to do it and how we're supposed to do it. And I actually think that that thought holds us back from making changes in our lives right now. So I wanted to share it with you all and I hope this humongous blather has made sense, but because this is such a massive thing that happens to us all. And just because I'm working with the spirit world doesn't mean that I'm not human. Doesn't mean that I don't fall into traps of thinking, well, everybody else is doing it, so I better start behaving like that too because that's what's necessary to be seen on social media. Or, you know, I need to build a membership program because this person's got a membership program and that's this and that's th that. and. Actually, the kind of person that I am, the kind of energy that I am, I need to have that movement and that space to be able to work how I want to work, when I want to work, and not tying myself down to all of these different times. And I had a really great one-to-one um, -one with one of my teachers, Lynn Parker, and she's just got such a great way of cutting through it all. And uh, she just said to me, you know, what do you want to do? And I said, well, I want to demonstrate, I want to do my podcast, and I want to teach people. And she said, but you can do all of those things without having a membership program. And I went, I know. And yet there was me pushing that, pushing that membership program, pushing it more and more and more, and not being true to myself. Although thinking I was, and that's the irony, thinking that I was being true to myself, thinking that I was following the path that spirit wanted me to follow, but actually I wasn't at all. 
And I wanted to share that with you because I think it's important that we all understand that we can all do this to ourselves and that all of these people that we have on the pedestals of being mediums in the public eye working this way they are human too and they have failings and they make mistakes and they get caught up in need or lack or fear even if it's not conscious fear just I need to be able to make sure that I've got enough coming in. I need to be able to make sure that I'm doing this and into that kind of energy that we see all the time now, which is hustle, 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 work hard, work hard, work hard. And I do think working hard is good. I will always be a hard worker. As Lynn said to me in my reading, it's funny. I don't see you working any less. I just see you doing things more in alignment with you. It's important to recognise these things about ourselves and allow the space to be created. And that's something I think that we all fear. So at the moment, I'm on the precipice of void, void space. So I've let go of my membership programme. I'm fighting my urge, my desire to fill all that time with loads of things. I'm trying to be still and hold that void because I know that the spirit world can't fill that space with things that are in alignment with me and where they want me to be and where I should be for my highest good if I filled that space. And it's something that we all talk about a lot, but it's really hard to put into practice because that void to me is scary. I don't like not knowing what I'm doing. I don't like not knowing what it's all for, but actually isn't that what it's all about? Trusting the spirit world and trusting that the right path for me will reveal itself without me seeking and we talk so much about surrender in mediumship in working with the spirit world but all they're asking me to do is surrender now to get out of the way so i'm having this funny dual experience at the moment where my program is saying Okay, well, you've got space now. You've got this time to do this. I booked on a course for next week because I suddenly realised I had time to do it. And then ha ha ha, the course is cancelled. So I can't even fill that space anymore. But it's good because I know that I need this. This is like taking your medicine. I know I don't like it, but I know I need it. So right on that void. And I don't know what it's for or where it's going to take me or anything. And it could be just that I need a better quality of life, that I need to be able to spend time with the people that I love, that I need to be able to get that balance back. Or it could be something else. But I know that I've got to surrender and create that space to allow it to happen. Anyway, I hope that this hasn't been just a completely self-indulgent uh therapy session <laughs> and that you can all learn and recognize this in yourselves I hope that's what this purpose is serving you see I'm on the void I feel like I'm on the precipice I don't <laughs> I feel unbalanced within myself um, but what I know is this I want to work for the spirit world I want to bring their love in for people I know what they have done for me and how they have changed my life. And I know that I was getting in the way of that. So this is me being brought back to alignment. And it's okay to get things wrong. I had to go through this. This is not, this really is not a sympathy podcast. This is an understanding that I had to go through this, that I had to learn this so that I would understand what doesn't work for me so I can move forward with what does. I have to spend time 
on the edge of this void and not know what it's all for so that I can trust the spirit world and de deepen and strengthen or denthen is apparently a new word I've just made up um, my connection with them and that trust and that knowing that all is well that I am safe and I am loved and there is a plan for me so if you're on the edge the precipice or you're having to release and you don't know why and you're trying to see the plan. Sometimes it's not about knowing what it's all for. It's just about releasing what isn't in alignment with you and creating that space. And in creating that space, you open your energy up to be able to receive whatever it is you need to receive. And it's okay. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be worried. It's okay to have got it wrong and headed in the wrong direction and messed it all up. It's okay to stand on the edge of that void and feel afraid of it. But know that you need to stand there anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's where I've been. And uh, I will be back doing uh, some more of the usual podcasts this week, I hope. Uh, but as you can tell, I'm on strict instructions from the spirit world not to put any plans in <laughs> and not to say anything for definite. But uh, I do love doing these and I love all the messages that I get from you all. Um, all of your questions all of all of your insights are very very welcome so please do email podcast at hannahmedium.co.uk if you've got any questions because i love to hear from you and those of you that have emailed me and been waiting two months i will get back to you but uh right now i'm surrendering and i'm seeing what the future brings and i hope that you will all come along for the journey with me Thanks for hanging in there with me. See you on the next one.